Okay. Now, I always feel like I'm swimming in place in the open ocean. Think the Explorer drones will flag me as biodiverse? You're not what they're looking for. That's what everyone says. Approaching the buoy. That song sounds familiar. Hey, a newcomer! Now to get there before the noise from Andrea's minor friends scares them all away. You want to raise my blood pressure? I was not expecting to find orcas here. They don't look like killers. Top of the food chain, just like us. Minus the urge to destroy ourselves. Hello to you too. Has anyone been tracking them? I'm still waiting to see if there's a match. Andre, are you seeing this? Is that a leatherback turtle? I didn't think there were any left here. What happened? Egg poaching, and the nesting beaches got to more. Bio sample acquired. Do you think your turtles are making a comeback? Well, I wish I could be optimistic. It's just as likely our turtle is taking the long route home to somewhere else. Okay, group survey. New or a repeat? So glad to hear you. Those noisy neighbors silenced enough of your friends. New whale! We'll designate this one M4, because why mess with a good thing? The sounds don't sound like the prior songs. These are more social sounds. Feels like my birthday, and that buoy is my present. Hope it's better than my last birthday. Dare I ask? My sister got me jeans that were mine for 
about a week before they wandered off, never to be seen again. A mystery, I tell you. charge any of these batteries before you put the sensor in? It's not a battery alarm, it's the drone. You're right. That is definitely not a dead battery. Unless we're using whale sharks as batteries now. There's already a tag on it. Then scan the tag. Sure. Like, that was obvious. I'm leaving another tag. Much better than a dead battery. Dolphins. Always showing off. Hey, Andre, can you make your Manta drone do synchronized swimming? Guess we'll see. Let's log you in. Hello! I just met your friends. Are we sure no one's tracking them? Nothing has turned up. Pretty low weight. Irina, do you think this one could be sick? I'm honored you believe I could tell from this distance that my knowledge of disease extends to all species. <laughs> Fair enough.
didn't you pick this dive location because you tracked the baby's pod out here? Well, I said they were heading in this direction. Andre, the buoy is glitching. I don't know what range you've set, but I think I'm hearing all the animals in the Pacific. Yeah. Too many sound signals for the software to keep up. I don't know what kind of party I'm crashing, but pretty sure I'm gonna love it. What is happening? It's a bait ball. Humbags? Orcas? Very unusual, but everyone's gotta eat. Are you safe down here? I'll try not to be mistaken for a fish. Dolphin show up. Never like being left out of the action. They want leftovers. Good luck to them. They're up against bigger stomachs. Here they are. You were right, Andre. I guess I didn't just swim across the Pacific for nothing. than before in this pod? Or am I just getting faster at tagging? No, definitely fewer. But maybe the others are hunting. No, no, don't leave me. Well, the mother stayed with the baby this time. Okay, ready for playback? I've prepared a coder you can activate from your dive watch. Okay, first attempt to speak whale. Hopefully I won't offend her. Echo clicks. I could feel it across my body. Just checking me out. First contact. She zoom scanned you. You have no idea what that felt like. She was looking right at me. Whew. You have no idea. I'm afraid I have bad news. The drone we deployed to map the dormant vents, it's gone. We lost contact hours ago. Without it, Arena worries we'll have to cancel the dive to the vents altogether. I'll keep patrolling the pickup spot, but I'm not optimistic. Hey Mirai, I assume you've heard that Andre lost the drone. Yeah, bad break. Did we get any usable data from the drone before it went missing? Not really. We lost the signal too soon. I suspect Andre believes it would have survived if we'd sent it to investigate the miners instead. It's crazy that we only have one mapping drone. If this were a space mission, we would probably have a hundred. You sound a little frustrated. Is that with Andre or the drone situation? 
In both. Yeah, his passion can sometimes be overwhelming. I just wish he wasn't so cold with me. Just because I turned my prior research into a successful biotech business, not every company is evil. Give him time. He'll lighten up. I know he thinks your current research is important. And impressive. It is. Actually, that's nice to know. <sighs> Was that a yawn? Did you get any sleep? Not really. Between the drone and staying up to chat with my daughter, I spent most of the night staring out of my cabin window at the moon. My grandmother loved to take me free diving in the moonlight. It was magical. It's like the whole ocean glows. Sounds like a fun grandmother. She was. Is. Uh, she's alive, but suffers from dementia. Sorry to hear that. Thanks. Nana moved in with us after our mom died. I was 12, Ren was 4. Are you and your sister close? Definitely. Yeah, most of the time. It's complex right now. Where is your daughter? She's at university in the UK. What is she studying? Pre-med. But she also has a passion for music. She has been playing in the same indie band for years. What's her music like? Hard to describe. I'm sure Sophie would love for you to check it out. I'll send you her latest single. Ooh. Isn't your sister also at university? My sister uh, took a break for a few years. But she's back now. There's a story there. Not my business. It's just hard sometimes for me not to want to take the wheel when I see her swerving. Does she want your help? I push her to do better, but... Not. You sound like me talking about my daughter. People are messy. That's why I study whales. <laughs> Speaking of which, I better get prepped for our next dive. Yeah. Catch you later. Yes, of course. Hi, Mirai. It must be late there. That's okay. I'm on dive time. I showed Nana the highlights from your live stream. Yeah? Did she like the whales? Oh, it's hard to know. She did. Huff at the dolphins, though. Mm, I hoped that would get a reaction. Not sure it was a good one. Are you doing okay with her? Kind of. You do this better. Did you want to talk about next semester? Ugh, when you get back. It's complex. You know, I can look at coming back earlier. That's crazy talk. Go speak to your whales. Gonna try. Catch you later. Day seven, about to enter the twilight zone. I'm following Andrea's family down to the sea mounts where I hope to observe them hunting. Arena has been testing our samples and is worried about a harmful algal bloom being somewhere nearby. So I am to keep an eye out for that, check. I'm also keeping an eye out for more turtles. I know they're out there, ready to dive.
I'm in and okay. And we're streaming. Hello, everyone. Welcome, or welcome back. I'm diving near a sea mount region, also known as the Twilight Zone, because it is just beyond reach of the sun. And we'll be taking some questions live, so be nice. We'll also be testing a playback system to interact with whales. Want to hear something cool? So do I. I'm hoping that buoy can send a little message to our humpback friends. That's right. Andre is going to serenade some humpbacks. <laughs> well, not me, but using a song I generated from other recordings. Okay, time to see if any humpbacks respond to our song. Jordan wants to know how you will know. Great question. If we have recorded him before, we'll see if the influence of our song affected his. Scientists believe whales from one region can influence the song of whales from another when they mix. Andre, we've recorded a song from this one before, right? We have. How quickly can you compare his two songs? Well, I need to wait for his song to complete at least one full cycle. And how long is that? Mm, 20 minutes, maybe more. Wow, that's a long, slow ballad. Another little black turtle, Andre. And feasting on some moon jellies. That is odd. Is that the same one we saw before? Hmm. It looks bigger, but let me zoom scan it to be sure. We can run the sample in the lab, but I am sure this is a different one. Do they typically travel together? Wouldn't it be surprising to find two this far off course? Yes, it would be. And yet, here they are. Welcome back, turtles. Enjoy your beautiful moon jellies. Moon jellies are beautiful. There's a decent chance this jelly will regenerate itself. Do you tell. In fact, a few species of jellyfish are technically immortal. They can revert from being full grown to their younger state and essentially start their life cycle over. Thank you, Arena, who will make us all immortal one day. Dana Squid. It looks like they're hunting... Lanternfish. Well called, Arena. We'll make you a sea witch yet. I'm sorry, a, a what? Let's scan a few to pick up their hunting behavior. Here goes. Scott from Denver wants to know if they eat each other. Some do. I think this one was upset he missed out on his prey. Great. I've been waiting for this. I've just activated your UV light. First of all, 
Don't mess with my suit when I'm diving. Secondly, you spoiled my surprise. Swell sharks have developed biofluorescence to communicate with each other. Their eyes have special adaptations for the UV light. Now you can see what a swell shark sees. That's what I'm talking about. Next, you can try the black light I installed in your sub. You did not. You did install it in your dorm room back in the day. Your wife showed me pictures. Our uni was a good time. What am I looking for here? Oh, one of our sperm whale tags must have fallen off. Andre, you really need better glue for these. I don't use glue. I've tracked down the tag. It's in a cave. I wonder how it got in here. What the? 
Right. <laughs> An octopus. Uh, are you okay? Other than getting inked in front of a live global audience? You know, you might want to get that off you. It will probably attract predators. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Okay, last boy of the dive. How are you feeling? Chances of suit holding out until the end of the dive, good. Hope of seeing if our humpback song had any effect, well... You know this, but for the viewers, science is not magic, it takes patience. I'd like to believe in a little magic. Sperm whale. I think it's... Yes, it's hunting! First time we'll be able to document it with Andre's technology. Come on, come on. And then the buzz. I got it! Raj from Mumbai wants to know, what's the buzz? I think he was making a joke. Got it. But what is the buzz? How is it used? We're not entirely sure, but definitely associated with being close to prey. This is just the warm-up. The real fun will come in the deep. Thousands of miles off course. Right, Andre? Give him a minute. Right. Let's scan a few of these to get their gender. There's a tiny tag here. Andre? Chen from Shanghai wants to know why you care about their gender. Well, their sex is determined by the temperature of their nests. Warming beaches wiped out the turtles in this region. Believe in a little magic now, Andre? I may just start, but let me check on that tag first. Oh, wow. Glad we didn't miss this. Beautiful. Yeah, they must have been hunting down past the rift. I think we found our spot for our first deep dive. Mirai, check out that one closest to you. What's that on its skin? Not sure I can catch them. They're headed to the surface. It might just be a scrape from a ship strike. Yeah, let's hope that's all it is. Let's end it here.
I know it seems like Andre worries about everything. But I really understand where that comes from. Everyone's seen the pictures, but I can tell you it was really tough to be doing hands-on work when we were losing entire species. For me, it was the whales. But for Andre, it was the turtles. I stayed to help him. Several of the other scientists did as well. By then, only Andre's protected nests were the ones producing turtles in the region. We all figured that the population was going to collapse, and eventually it did. But seeing this large man spend day after day carrying tiny turtles from the nest to the water, it inspired us to stay. I mean, coming back now, it feels like another world. Andre is not an angry man, Arena. He's just a man who gets angry when he sees people say it's too hard or that they don't care at all. Mirai, sorry to miss the post I brief. I've been listening to our humpback recordings for hours and got myself in a kind of funk. Actually, I started listening to the humpbacks and then switched to Miles Davis. Anyway, I don't see any clear sign that our playback influenced any of the other whales yet, but I just know we're on the right track. I'm sorry to be in such a mood. Don't know what to make of those turtles or what's going on with our sperm whale family. Right, catch you in a bit. Day 12. Spent the last five days on an endless series of depth tests of Andre's deep diving suit. Guess he doesn't want me to implode on the live stream. I do hope it's giant squid proof though. The mapping drone located a brine pool near where Andre's family has been hunting. That is, before it went AWOL. Ready to die. I mean dive. 